Linda's going to be uh, talking to us about implementing core values across an international workforce and um, how they have transformed their passion in advancing women in businesses, in their business, creating their women's leadership development program, and also about how they have communicated and uh, their CSR commitments. I'm really excited to hear from you, Linda. So please come and take the stage. Please, everyone, big round of applause for the afternoon for Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, good afternoon. Um, everybody have your afternoon coffee. I know I did to help warm up, and I also had some um, truffles, which were delicious. So it is really an honor to be here today. Thank you so much. My name is Linda Tobias. As um, you know, I'm Vice President of Corporate Marketing for Global Benefits Group. I want to first um, thank my, um, my business partner, Interact, for the invitation and the opportunity to speak with you today. So I'm really excited to be here. I'm a Jersey girl, so any opportunity to come into the city and get away from my virtual office is fantastic. So this is probably the first time I've been live with, in front of people in a long time, so it really is nice. So uh, what I'm hoping to do today is um, really share with you some, some best practices that you can take back to your, to your offices on some of the, the employee in, initiatives that we rolled out at GBG. So let me see, how do I do this? Nope. Okay, so let's jump into it. Um, I want to start giving you a, a little bit of background about myself, what led me to GBG and my role there. Um, I really want to talk about developing our new brand messages, um, creating a new marketing organization, and rolling out some really cutting edge platforms. How we went about implementing our core values around an international workforce and really breaking down those silos and really increasing our employee engagement. Uh, talk a little bit about communicating our corporate social responsibility uh, commitments um, and what that, how that has a positive impact on the world and how we went about initiating that. And then finally, a lot of our employee-led programs are really in direct collaboration with HR. We work very closely with them. So talk a little bit about that. So just um, some, some information about our company. Global Benefits Group is an international private medical insurance company. We've been around for 40 years. Uh, we are a global company. We have four, four regions in North America. Latin America, the Caribbean, Europe, Asia, and we also have three divisions and over 450 employees. So we were acquired um, about three years ago by a New York City private equity firm, and at that time, a new executive team was brought in to really elevate the company and bring it to the, to the next level. I was brought in about a year later to really initiate a corporate uh, marketing team. So I had the exciting opportunity of really bringing the company to the digital age. Nothing had been done from a digital perspective. So um, you know, I was able to set up marketing teams, um, create social media channels, um, really rebrand the company. So it was, it was super exciting for me. So how did we go about doing this? So we, we partnered with an external agency to really develop our our new mission, and our mission was simple. So it was um, to deliver customer-oriented insurance products um, to you know to an international community, and um, you know the mission is really simple. We really customer service is is really at the foundation of everything. So that was really what we relied on. Um, also, we serve a very, very unique population. So we, we service anyone that travels outside of their home country. So our main product line is healthcare, but we also sell life and disability. So um, we, we really cater to the international community. So international students that come inbound to the states to attend universities. Um, educators and faculty that travel outside of their home country to teach abroad. We work with multinational companies that send their executives and expats overseas, and also high wealth individuals that are looking for sub, uh, supplemental health insurance. So we really are a very niche boutique company, and we're considered experts in our field. So we really wanted that, 
that message to come across um, to the international community. So we create, in conjunction with our agency, we created a new tagline, and that tagline is go, we'll be there. So maybe not physically we'll be there, but no matter where you are in life's journey, uh, we'll provide the security and assurance needed to embrace adventure without doubts and without limits. And this also supports our international um, employee base, which was very um, important. So, whoop. Okay, so this was our challenge. This was our old look. Um, and we, you know, our, our old look was very, very dated. So we really needed to, to bring it up to the, you know, 20, <laughs> to, to the digital age. And uh, we spent pr the, the better half of 2021 really developing the messaging behind our company. And then we turned to creating a new look for our website. And the same could, def could also be tr um, said for our intranet. So um, it was definitely time. The intranet is on the right-hand side. And it was definitely time to give it a, a, new, a new look and a facelift. And the pandemic brought us to really an unexpected and different, uh, different challenge. And that was the work from home challenge. And our intranet really became the virtual office and the go-to place where employees went to for company news and, and really to stay connected to what was happening around the company. So our old internet was very confusing. Uh, there was no logical menu to find information. And the content on the site was very, very dated. Um, but updating the site was very, was very easy. We partnered with Interact, who is here today. Um, they actually have a booth outside. So if you have any questions, you can talk to them. And uh, what we did, we created an internal task force, and we selected employees through, throughout our company, both from a functional area and a regional area, to tell us what was most important to them from a functional as well as aesthetic um, point of view. Uh, we also wanted to start fresh, and so we initiated an internal contest to rename the internet. And we enlisted our employees to give us some, some ideas. So we had a lot of very interesting choices, um, Elvis being one, which didn't really align with our, with our culture. But um, anyway, 1GBG was formed in July of last year. And um, this was really the first entree into our new brand, introducing our employees to the new brand colors um, and get, giving them really a taste of what was to come. So, the nice thing about this, we had a very simple menu that uh, Interact help us, helped us to design. Um, it was easy to find information. We had our top news carousel, as well as links to our social posts. We also, um, we really didn't have any formalized means of communication from a corporate standpoint. So uh, what we were able to do is really highlight our top news, and we developed a weekly communication, which was really the go-to um, vehicle to, to communicate to our employees. And we eliminated all of the one-off uh, email communications that were previously sent. Uh, so then after a lot of research and testing and everything else, we rolled out our new website in January of this year with the theme of um, New Year, New GBG. And uh, you know we're really proud of the website. We've gotten tremendous feedback from our external brokers as well as our employees. So um, in tandem with our website launch, we also launched our core values. So um, we researched many different attributes, but we felt that these three att attributes really resonated most with our company, which is a little bit more traditional. I was um, speaking with Leader outside, and I think one of their um, their core values was something like, Mondays are just as good as Fridays, or something like that, which I just thought was r really cute and really clever. Ours are a little bit more um, you know, traditional. Um, so our th three core values are accountability, customer focus, teamwork, and respect. And um, together with our new motto, Together We Are Stronger, really supports these three, these three um, new core values. And what we did on launch day, we had a hard copy of the core values on everyone's desk. And we've been trying to reinforce this by doing different initiatives. Um, so we've asked employees uh, what core value resonates most with them and why. And we're, we're doing a video and rolling that out on social media. 
Uh, similarly, we also did research on a corporate social responsibility program. So for those of you that are not familiar with what a corporate social responsibility program, it's really a way for employees, your partners, your customers to understand your, your business's role in the greater society and, and really to help the greater good. So our goal was to put together a program that focused on three pillars, and we chose health because it aligned very well with a health company. So our three pillars are healthy people, healthy community, and healthy business. And these three pillars are really the foundation on which we build our day-to-day -day business practice. So to go a little bit deeper, under Healthy People, we created a diversity and inclusion program. Um, we developed a very flexible, hybrid working environment. And we're continually making investments to develop our people. Under Healthy Business, we have a commitment to, to our members and to our partners to conduct business in a very ethical and responsible way through operational efficiency, transparency, and always putting the customer first. And then under Healthy Community, we always encourage our employees to volunteer. And uh, we've partnered with Mercy Ships as a way to promote access to healthcare around the globe. And also, we um, developed a philanthropic sponsorship with them. And for those of you that are not familiar with Mercy Ships, it's really a great organization. So they are a floating hospital, more like a community that goes to third world countries. And they'll spend about nine months to a year in, in that country. And uh, what they do is um, they provide proper hygiene and health care, and they perform, perform much needed surgeries to uh, these third world countries. So we kicked off the program with Mercy, Mercy Ships with an employee campaign asking our employees to donate with GBG matching funds. So it's been a really great partnership, and we're really proud of that. Uh, also, <clears throat> to add to our employee development, we rolled out our Bonfire Leadership Development Program. So this was rolled out in 2021 as an ongoing initiative to select rising female leaders within our company and put them through an extensive six-month program to really develop the skills needed to succeed and shape you know, the workplace of GBG in the future. So um, here's an interesting quote um, from one of our leaders um, that, that uh, I'll just re read the last, the last line. I thought it was really, really interesting. So um, use your power, take these moments, breathe, spit fire, and refuel. And the feedback that we've received from these leaders has, has really been tremendous on the program. So what's next for GBG and our employee engagement? We are working with um, Interact on an onboarding page. So I was really liked some of the previous um, presenters and some of their take on onboarding. And I really hope to take that back, um, some of those best practices. But you know, more, we know now more than ever that it's really critical that we, we take our new hires and we get off to the right start. It helps with employee retention and um, and just in productivity, productivity in general. We're also working on a recognition program. So one of the things we're doing is a peer-to-peer -peer recognition program. Again, this is with our partner, Interact. It's a very easy to implement um, solution within their tool. And what we're looking to do is tie it into the core values. So um, employees would be given a bank of points per month, and they would select the employee that they want to recognize, tie it into the core values. So, you know, it further really establishes and, and kind of puts everything together. So, you know, I think a lot of these things, these initiatives that we've developed have really helped to initiate unique conversations among our employees. They've helped to really share ideas and um, helping to get employees to get to know each other, really break down those uh, cycles of working in silos and united our employees in more inspirational and fun ways. So. I'm hoping to take some of the best practices I've learned and bring them back to the office. And um, I just want to thank you for your time today.